Welcome to the Awakening Podcast. I'm your host, Eddie Hyatt. So glad you've joined me today. We're continuing our series on overcoming fear. And we are in Psalm chapter 23, where David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. In those most ominous, dreadful situations that I pass through, David said, I will fear no evil. Why? Well, it's because God is his shepherd and God is with him and he knew that God was going to look after him. Hey, here at the beginning, I want to encourage you to check out my website, eddiehyatt.com and uh, you'll find all kinds of resources there, articles. Uh, there's a link to uh, a YouTube channel. There's a link to a blog and uh, there's a bookstore there uh, with all kinds of books and um, that will bless you. And uh, if you would like to, there's a donate button if you're blessed by these uh, episodes and you'd like to give a donation to our ministry to enable us to continue to spread the good news all over the world, I welcome you to prayerfully consider giving a donation. And I want to say this, I I mentioned this yesterday, but uh, just really exciting, I received an email uh, just in the last few days, a Christian leader in Uganda uh, is listening to these podcasts and he's bringing in other people. And uh, they are together, and he's he's got some way of, uh, I guess, amplifying it where that the whole room, people can listen to it. And in Uganda, Africa, people are listening to these daily podcasts. And he was telling what a blessing it is being to them. Wow, isn't that exciting? Modern technology, what God can do. Well, let's look at, at Psalm 23. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So this Psalm 23 is about living a life without fear. No fear. And it's all based on that first first verse where David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And we mentioned, I'll just reiterate quickly, he used the word Yahweh-Rohi, which is one of God's covenant names. It is a name he always used in relationship to his people, revealing what he would be to them, who he was and what he would be to his people, that he would be their shepherd. He would be like the shepherd and to to care for and protect and to feed his people. And uh, we went through verses 1 through 3. Last week, yesterday, we were talking about Jesus, how he is the fulfillment of, of all of these names of God, including this one, the Lord is my shepherd. And we read the passage about how Jesus said, I am the good shepherd that lays down his life for the sheep. And yes, Psalm 23 is fulfilled in Jesus. He is our shepherd. He is the ultimate shepherd that feeds and and, and protects and cares for his sheep. And so in delineating all the blessings and benefits of the Lord being his shepherd, we get to verse 4, and David says, Yea, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. There was actually a place in the, in the hills of Judea called the valley of the shadow of death. And there was an, an area, uh, and it was a mountainous area that you passed through. There was a valley, but there were hills on each side and you had to pass through, and it was called the Valley of the Shadow of Death. And it was a, a very rocky, narrow path and deep ravines or canyons on each side. And it was a fearful place because sheep are not mountain goats. But sometimes it was necessary for the shepherd to lead his sheep through there to get to the place he wanted them to be. And my friends, you and I are on a journey. God is taking us someplace. And, um, and when we go through difficult times and difficult places, remember that is not your destination. In this fallen sinful world, we may have to pass through some difficult places and some difficult times, but that is something that you are only passing through to get to those good pastures that God has prepared for you. So always remember, you're going through a a dreadful, maybe a distressing time. This is not your destination. You're on your way someplace. And David said, yea, though I walk through the valley. Sometimes you're going to have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But, But as David said, I will fear no evil. Why? 
for you are with me. The shepherd was there with the sheep. He was leading them. He was guiding them. So they knew that his ultimate goal and purpose for them was good. They knew he wasn't going to leave them there in that valley of the shadow of death. He was taking them to better and greener pastures where they were going to lie down in rest and peace and, and, and drink from the still waters. And David said, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Uh, the shepherd had two things with him. He had a rod, which was like a short billy club that he used to beat off predators, wolves, or maybe a mountain lion, or something that would come against the sheep. Um, and then he had a staff that he leaned on, and usually the staff had a crook on the end. And so the sheep was comforted. The shepherd was with them. And in this valley of the shadow of death, there was danger lurking. There were mountain lions there in that area but but the sheep did not fear because the shepherd was with them and he had a rod he had a billy club and the, sh the, the sheep knew that if any of those predators came after them the shepherd was going to go after them was going to beat them off because he wasn't a hired hand he was not there for the wages, he would put his own life at risk to protect and to save the sheep. And so David said, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now the staff was important for the sheep because in this narrow trail, what if he slipped and fell off down into, uh, you, you know, in, into a ravine? Well, that did happen at times. But the shepherd would lean over and would would take his staff and reach down and put the crook under the, the chest of the sheep and lift him back upon the trail. He did not berate the sheep and say, you dumb, stupid sheep, why don't you watch where you're going? No, no, no. He had compassion on the sheep and he would reach down and pick him up and set him back upon the trail. And my friends, maybe you have stumbled. Maybe you have fallen off the trail. Maybe you have had a moral downfall or some other kind of downfall. Oh, my friends, let the sheep, let the shepherd put his staff under you, under your chest. Let him lift you back upon the path. He is willing now. Come to him. Pour out your heart. Confess your sins. He will set you back upon this path and he will take you through this valley of the shadow of death and he will bring you in to a land of green pastures and still waters. So whatever you're passing through today, remember, you're merely passing through. That's not your destination. The shepherd is bringing you into a place of green pastures and still waters where you will lie down in peace and your soul will be at rest. And remember, he's going to protect you and he's going to care for you. And if you stumble and fall, he's going to pick you up and set you back on your path. So there is no need, no place for fear in your life today. I will fear no evil, David said, for thou art with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Well, we're going to stop right there, save the rest for tomorrow. I'm Eddie Hyatt. This is the Awakening Podcast. I want to pray a prayer for you in closing. Father, I thank you for each person listening to this podcast. I pray for each any person who has fallen by the wayside, maybe who has maybe had a moral failure of some sort, who has sinned, and now they're they feel like they're down in that ravine. Lord, help them to know that, that, that you are ready to pick them up and set them back on their path. If they'll just come to you in honesty and brokenness and pour out their heart to you, acknowledge their sins. 1 John 1, 9 says, He is faithful to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and set you back on the path and lead you through into that place of victory and boldness and fearlessness in Christ. Bless my brothers and sisters. Meet their every need today according to your riches and glory. And we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen.